in Shanghai. There's just one more day of competition left. Great Britain's athletics team are also thinking about the World Championships. The World Trials are underway in Birmingham. And Dwayne Chambers won the 100 metres. The 33-year-old isn't eligible to compete at next year's Olympics because of a doping offence. But he can take his place in the team for the World Championships, which are in South Korea at the end of next month. And that is all your sport. Okay. Thanks very much, Ollie. Thank you. And finally, the Queen's granddaughter, Zara Phillips, has married the England rugby star Mike Tyndall in a private ceremony in Edinburgh. 6,000 well wishers line the streets to watch with the Queen and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge among the guests. Our Scotland correspondent, Lorna Gordon, reports. The official wedding picture of Zara Phillips and Mike Tyndall. Released tonight, it shows the couple in the picturesque ruins at the Palace of Holyrood House. And it was from here that the royal bride had earlier started her short journey to the Kirk, her wedding the first royal nuptials in Scotland in almost 20 years. Among those invited to the ceremony, Sir Jackie Stewart, leading rugby names including the England coach Martin Johnson and jockey Kieran Fallon. Then the groom, Mike Tyndall, arrived suitably early and showing no signs of nerves. Joining stars from the world of sport, members of the royal family. Zara's mother, Princess Anne, the Queen and Prince Philip. Some of the biggest cheers, though, were for the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, William and Catherine, and Prince Harry. But this was the day when their cousin, Zara Phillips, known for her down-to-earth, low-key style, stepped into the spotlight. The bride's ivory gown by designer Stuart Parvin, the tiara lent to her by her mother. The crowds, some who'd been waiting for many hours, were not disappointed. The atmosphere out here is lovely. Yes, it's super to be here. Fabulous. I just to have a royal wedding in Edinburgh, to actually experience it in your lifetime, I just think it's something that I have to had to do. The ceremony itself was private, but as the newlyweds emerged, they did have a first public kiss as a married couple. Zara has stated that breaking with tradition, she will keep her maiden name. Those who watch the royal family closely believe that both husband and wife will be happy with the way the day turned out. I think they're getting pretty much what they wanted. Uh, I think they'd like it to be even more low-key, but you know, they have to compromise. Um, they're royal, or she's royal. They're having it in their, in their capital city, so they have to be prepared to turn the line and weave it. This evening, Zara Phillips and Mike Tyndall are celebrating their marriage with the reception at the Palace of Holyrood House. And after what has inevitably become, at least in part, a public wedding, it's thought the couple are hoping their sporting careers will once again come first. Lorna Gordon, BBC News, Edinburgh. Congratulations to them. That's it from me and the team here. Good night. Bye-bye. Hello there, it's been a lovely day today, lots of uh, sunshine around. Tomorrow things start to change with more clouds spilling our way, but it should be uh, bright and it's still going to be warm as well and turning a little bit more humid too. Let's uh, look at the rest of tonight though, we've got some clearer skies still across eastern areas but further west the cloud is increasing and we could see a few spots of rain in Northern Ireland and Western Scotland. Quite a warm night actually, double figures for most of us, a little chilly for a while though across East Anglia and Lincolnshire. Tomorrow, central and eastern areas of England should be dry and bright, hazy sunshine, high cloud this time. Further west, the cloud will be lowering, so there'll be some mist and hill fog, a bit of rain and drizzle too. And some of that will just nudge its way into the southwest of England, so a lot of cloud around here. Cloud spilling into Wales too, some brightness to the east, but low cloud, mist and hill fog in the west, and again, some splashes of rain and drizzle. A bit of dampness in the air too, across Northern Ireland, and with more cloud tomorrow, it's not going to be as warm as it was today. In Scotland, most of the rain will be in the west, though it should be light, since parts of Murray, Aberdeenshire may stay dry, some brightness, not much rain at Canoosley at all. Should really be dry for Northern England, some brightness here, and some hazy sunshine and dry weather for the uh, test match at Trent Bridge. And it stays dry again, and probably a bit warmer than today across East Anglia and the southeast of England in that hazy sunshine. Temperatures hitting 24 degrees or so. Now next week it's going to turn warmer. Temperatures are going to rise and rise. The humidity will rise too and the heat and humidity will trigger some showers. Some of them heavy and thundery. Good night. Clive Owen and Kieran Knightley with the story of King Arthur and his knights. That's in a moment. at the BBC 
Legacy Proms continue with the Human Planet Prom, this Friday at 7.30 on BBC Four.